Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Competitive Guide video. So today we're covering Flareon. Now Flareon, unlike a couple of the other evolutions that I've recorded, has actually got a Dynamax set. We are capable of using Flareon um, in a Dynamax form, which is really, really good. Um, yeah, so we are going to do two generic sets and one Dynamax set today. Uh, Flareon, like the other evolutions, does suffer with a little bit of a shallow move pool, so it does not have the most moves in the world, but I'm going to hopefully show off a variety today. Now, first of all, we have a more supporting Flareon with a high special defense stat because it already has a massive special defense. Um, so yes. We have Toxic on here, which is a transfer only move, so you would have to transfer Flareon from a Generation 7 game or, or before um, with Toxic on. We've then got Heal Bell to heal up the Pokemon on your team. Essentially, um, if you've got any physical Pokemon that are burnt or any of your uh, walls that are toxic, for example, having Heal Bell there will allow you much more time with those and uh, for them to definitely be able to work effectively. I've then got Wish. Now, this is a very good utility move. Um, obviously, you can switch out to different Pokemon, uh, allowing them to become healed up on that turn, and it can really, really benefit your team. So having the Heal Belt and Wish on here can definitely work for you. Finally, we've got Flare Blitz on here. Now, that's a strong Fire-type attack. You are going to take recoil damage, but that's why we've got the Leftovers and the Wish there as well. Eevee's gone for max HP and max special defense with a careful nature, so more special defense, less special attack, and four EVs and attack, just boosting that Flare Blitz a little bit more. If you want to go max defense, you could, but because of Flareon's high special defense stat, I would definitely recommend going for that. The second Flareon that we have, again, it has got Wish on it. It's got Wish and Protect on here. This is basically because Toxic Orb will cause you to become toxic and damage will start racking up on you. So having the wish on there um, can actually provide you a little bit of support, especially as well if you think there's going to be a trick Pokemon that's going to trick a move, uh, trick an item onto you, you can trick a toxic orb onto them as well. So that can work quite effectively. Um, but we've got the toxic orb and we've got guts here. So toxic orb um, will poison you and guts will 1.5 times your attack power, which is really, really good. Normally I would go for Flame Orb, but obviously Flareon being a fire type will not be able to become burnt by that. Attack wise, I've gone for Flare Blitz, obviously a really strong fire type attack, um, can do lots of damage, especially boosted by the guts. And I've got Facade, which again is a really, really good attack when boosted by guts, um, because it's doubled when your status, already getting boosted by that guts as well. So it does do a lot of damage to different Pokemon. Uh, for EVs, I've got a couple of options here. You can, again, go for specially defensive, so you can go um, and make sure you're a little bit bulkier, allowing you to lift some hits, or you could go for max HP, max attack with an adamant nature, um, so having that boost in your attack stat. That's up to you on how you decide to go for that. Now, obviously, the playoff here between Toxic um, and Guts is a little bit of a problem because you will only be able to stay in for so many turns before it becomes uh, dire to you. So do be cautious when running this set. The final set we have is a Dynamax set. Now we on here we have a Choice Band. If you didn't know when you're Dynamax, the Choice Band is not active. So you're not getting the increase in your attack power and you are not um, locked into a move. So when Dynamax, I would recommend going for um, Superpower, which will turn to Max Knuckle. Do that three times, I would recommend because that will raise your attack stat by, by 2.5 times. Now that becomes an incredibly high attack stat, obviously being 394 naturally, it will more than double that, so take it over 800, which is super, super high, possibly even over 900, so doing lots and lots and lots of damage to different Pokemon. Um, and then when you're back to your normal form, obviously you will be locked into a move, so do be cautious. Um, you have Superpower to hit a variety of Pokemon. You've got Flare Blitz, powerful stab type move. Body Slam with the opportunity to paralyze different Pokemon. And again, a normal type move that is variety. And then Quick Attack just to have a little bit of um, a little bit of priority there and allows for you to definitely be able to um, take out some Mons because of having that increase in your attack power. Ability on here, I've put Flash Fire. So, um, yep, yeah, the. Fire attacks do 1.5 times damage when hit by a fire type move, but we're more focusing on the fire immunity here because we're not worrying about um, necessarily our fire type attacks. Obviously, if you're going for Flare Blitz, then that's going to do you some benefit. 
EVs gone for max HP and max attack, again with an adamant nature, so more attack, less special attack, and four EVs in special defense. That is all for today, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of it, so it's been a good one, and I'll see you soon.